Candace Shand, better known by her stage name Candy Sucks, is a character in the Grand Theft Auto series who appears as a supporting character in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In 1984, she already had at least one film released and was making a name for herself having a fan in Sergeant Jerry Martinez who was watching a tape of Candy with a pig and a horse. She continues to work in the porn industry until at least 1992, where posters and a billboard appear in both Los Santos and Las Venturas in San Andreas. It appears that by 2002, Candy has retired from the porn industry, having her occupations as educator and philanthropist. Candy Sucks seems to be popular in 2013, as all sorts of media of her can be found, she became so popular she even managed to get her own star on the Vinewood Walk of Fame. If Michael calls Tracy at any point between the mission's fame or shame and reuniting the family, she will refer to herself in her voicemail as Tracy Sucks, suggesting that she might be influenced by Candy. A transaction to Candy Sucks mobile internet may be visible in Franklin's Maze bank account. Mercedes Cortez is a supporting character in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Mercedes Cortez was born and raised by her parents, Juan Cortez and Mrs. Cortez, who later died. She and her father later moved to Vice City, establishing themselves with the rich and powerful in the city often inviting their friends to parties including drug baron Ricardo Diaz, who Mercedes dislikes. Cortez is shown as a possible love interest for Bersetti throughout Grand Theft Auto, although this potential romance is never explored outside of a few teasing conversations, several phone calls between both of them were cut from the final game. She is presented as a very promiscuous woman, sleeping with Love Fist, starring in a porn film, possibly working at the pole position club, and apparently working as a prostitute in Little Havana if Ken Paul is to be believed. Her appearance in Grand Theft Auto, Vice City is different from her artwork, as her hair is black and purple in the artwork, while it is a plain light purple in-game. Her breasts are small in the artwork, while they are a bigger size in-game. A faded billboard of her can be spotted in Grand Theft Auto V. Love Fist is a fictional Scottish heavy metal band in both the 3D and HD universes of the Grand Theft Auto series. The band is prominently featured in Grand Theft Auto Vice City and mentioned in many of the following games since. A single member of the band, Willie, also appears in Grand Theft Auto V. The band is comprised of Jez Torrent, Jez if said with a Scottish accent, a slang term for semen, and Willie, Dick, and Percy, all slang terms for the penis. It is not revealed when the band were formed, but by 1980, before Virat was hosting a giveaway of Love Fist concert tickets and by 1986 they are on their Steel Heartstone Cold Prostate tour and being managed by Ken Paul. Lead singer Jez Torrent apparently used to have sex with she drummer Dick sleeps with bunny pajamas. Guitarist Percy is a huge fan of Duran Duran and bassist Willie likes to wear woman's underwear. Jez Torrent sings about cross-dressing on Dangerous Bastard. In Grand Theft Auto V, Willie can be overheard talking to a 20-year-old groupie revealing the effects of old age on the band members. The album The Number of the Breast is an obvious parody of the Iron Maiden album The Number of the Beast. Sonny Ferrelli is an Italian-American mobster and the dawn of the Liberty City-based Ferrelli crime family as of 1986. A friend and the boss of GTA Vice City protagonist Tommy Versetti. In 1971, Sonny sent Tommy to Harwood to assassinate a key mobster. However, when Tommy arrived, he found himself surrounded by 11 hitmen. The 11-man ambush was ordered by Sonny himself. Due to Sonny and the Ferrelli family's connections, Tommy was spared the death penalty or life imprisonment, instead being sentenced to 15 years in prison. Sonny Ferrelli is similar to Sonny Corleone from 1972 film The Godfather. Both of them act as boss for their family, and both have same ruthless, short-tempered personality. According to Dan Hauser, in an IGN interview, Sonny and Tommy were friends since childhood. In the same interview, Hauser explained that Tommy never told anyone that Sonny was the one who sent him to kill the key mobster, and by extension his henchman, because he believed in a mafia code and sense of honor amongst thieves. Sonny is the only Ferrelli family member who wasn't killed in Liberty City. Tommy is a former member of the Ferrelli crime family in Liberty City, who, after being released from prison following a 15-year sentence, is sent to Vice City to oversee a major drug deal with the Vance brothers. Tommy Versetti shows many characteristics in common with Tony Montana, a drug lord from the film Scarface. The two both end up in exile, both arrive in the city wearing Hawaiian shirts, both rise to power in Miami using great amounts of violence, the interior of the Versetti estate is is even modeled after Montana's mansion. Tommy Versetti also bears some resemblance to Mr. Blonde from the film Reservoir Dogs. In GTA 4, there is graffiti found around the map with Tommy's name, along with the other 3D universe protagonists. 
It states that they are all dead. Rockstar Games later confirmed that it was a little joke. The video game driver featured Hawaiian shirt-wearing characters known as Timmy Vermicelli hidden throughout each of its three main maps. The Timmy Vermicelli characters wore inflatable armbands, making fun of the fact Tommy Versetti is unable to swim and will die upon entering the water. The Cubans are a Latin street gang in GTA Vice City. The Cubans are led by Umberto Rabina and are based in the Little Havana district of Vice City. Cuban gang members are either seen wearing white sleeveless shirts with a Japanese symbol and writing, red bandanas and jeans, or a fedora hat, light yellow shirts and black pants in Vice City. They are armed with 9mm pistols. The 10th anniversary version of GTA Vice City had all references to the Cuban and Haitian people removed, in response to Cuban and Haitian groups in the United States who threatened to use action against Rockstar Games on the basis that they were being discriminated against. This is also why in GTA Vice City stories the gang is referred to as Los Cabrans as opposed to simply the Cubans, as they were in GTA Vice City. The Cubans are likely based on the Marielitos, the name of numerous gangs who were descended from refugees who came to the United States during the Mariel boatlift and were active in the 1980s. Cuban gang members will still engage in gun fights against the Versetti gang but will not attack Tommy himself. The Cubans have two true arch enemies, the Cholos and the Haitians. Auntie Poulet is an elderly Haitian matriarch and the leader of the Haitian gang which she also uses as her own protection. Auntie Poulet was voiced by the late Yuri Del Cleomalai Harris, better known as infamous psychic hotline spokeswoman Miss Cleo. Most of Auntie Poulet's life before the late 1980s is unknown. Poulet was born in Haiti, having started both tea and drugs business during her youth. Poulet also founded a small Haitian gang. From 1984, shortly after Vic and the Cubans defeated the Cholos, Poulet and her Haitians gang came to Vice City and took over the little Haiti district, starting a gang war with Umberto Rabina and his Cuban gang. Poulet gives Tommy Versetti mind-altering voodoo potions to get him to cooperate in the mission she wants him to undertake. This includes acting against the Cubans, with whom he has friendly relations. When the potions effects wear off, Tommy shows no memory of what he has done. In the original PS2 version of the game and Xbox version, Auntie Poulet wears a purple dress with matching head wrap. However, in all other releases of the game, she wears a yellow dress with matching head wrap. Poulet is French for chicken. The Vice City Bikers is a motorcycle club in GTA Vice City. They are the only motorcycle gang present in the game. The Hells Angels Motorcycle Club is the inspiration for the gang, as they are later hired as security for a concert of the hair metal band Love Fist. This is a reference to the disastrous Rolling Stones show at Altamont, where Hells Angels were hired as security and an angel stabbed a member of the crowd. They are influenced by neo-Nazi culture, with some of them have iron cross tattoos on their shoulders. Although members of the gang do not usually appear during normal free roaming in GTA Vice City, there will always be a stationary member wearing body armor outside the greasy chopper bar. Simply put, they are the biggest family of misfits, outcasts, and badasses as quoted by their leader, Big Mitch Baker. Baker is a Vietnam veteran and apparently earned a purple heart while killing a village full of enemies. In GTA Vice City stories, the Vice City bikers are revealed to be a large criminal organization, owning several businesses in downtown Vice City and Vice Point. 